Huh? Yup. Yo, Xima. Hello, Chris. Hello, man. I'm so... I'm really sorry that we have to do this again, to be honest. Oh, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I like building yeah, with so, redstone. <laughs> so, guys, the thing is, like, me and Xima built the... Well, Xima built the Adam and Melon farm just uh, opposite here, but someone accidentally deleted the f video files. Uh, I'm not saying any names. <laughs> it wasn't Xuma, it might be me. So <laughs> we are back here and trying to build a melon farm. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, well, I won't be showing. Xuma will. Yeah, I'll be showing you how to build this. This is the same one that I built at Spawn. So um, you might have seen that already, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's start off. Oh! <laughs> oh man, <laughs> what's going fair. on? What's going on? Wait, was, was that What's going else? on? That was you no. controlling me. <laughs> I think, I don't know, we got the skeleton somewhere here. Maybe we do. <laughs> nah, it was you. No, man. Throwing me off, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to build here. Right, how many blocks do I have to go up? One, one two, three, and then four. Oh, this right. excitement of me watching you. <laughs> okay, right, so you start off with a ring of dirt, and this is where you're... Melons and melon seeds. Hey, did you actually give me... You didn't give me any melon seeds, man. <laughs> did I? Or maybe oh. you left it in the chest. Yeah, I think I left it in the chest. I'm going to oh. jump down here and take oh, a I look. I built this wrong. It's supposed to be one block lower. There's see. melon seeds here, man. How much do melon seeds will we need? Um, I will need... Let me see. I got 28 here. I will actually yeah, craft... more than enough. I will craft some more just in case. Let me see. We have 33 oh, melon seeds. Uh, are they melon or pumpkin? Because you wanted pumpkin on this side, right? No, we're gonna have melon. Oh, okay. I'm gonna me uh, let me just build meal as well, just in case. There we go. Don't I'm gonna that. jump up again. No, we're actually yeah, guys. I was just telling. This is my farm area of the base, and Xima is helping me out. So basically, what we will have, we'll have a big, big, huge farm area here, which will be melon and pumpkin farm area, I guess. Going all the way up, and I will actually go back to Xuma because we might be missing some. All right, I'm back. I need a hoe. <laughs> oh my, yeah, I, I got a, a I got a hoe. Oh, can you throw me it? Yeah, I can't throw you the hoe. Here's the hoe. It's an iron hoe. Thank you. Yeah, that's a pro hoe. Kind of looks like a grim uh, reaper scythe. It? <laughs> it actually <laughs> does. That's pretty cool. And yes, okay. guys, for you who actually wants to build this stuff, you can watch this video. You can just uh, click the link in the description or the link in the annotation here. Because Xuma has actually made an epic tutorial about this farm. Is that right, Xuma? Yes, that is. Uh, yeah. It should be very easy to follow as well. Nothing too complicated. It looks very easy from here. Okay, so I'm placing the pistons around. These are the ones that are going to push off the melons. So the melons are going to grow on those dirt blocks that you have in a circle, and then the ones in the middle I'm going to take away. Um, so we'll have water at the top, and that'll go all the way down through the middle. All right. And all the melons will get pushed into that when it harvests. So that's that bit. I just need to get my furnaces. That sounds so pro. <laughs> yeah, the furnaces that we're using here are just for aesthetical reasons. There's, um, they don't actually have any function. No, it looks. Yeah, the thing, guys, if you're using the Faithful Pack, the furnaces actually have the same texture as the pistons, so it looks cool. It looks. Place those other pistons here as well now, actually. Make things easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one's upside down. Oops. And there will be a hole where we were standing. Is that right? Yeah, there will be a hole there. Okay, that'll do for now. Got to be careful doing all this jumping, not to land on the uh, seeds that I've just planted. Yeah, be careful, man. Seeds on top of these. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Where's the skelly at? Oh, I've got this wrong over here. How do I do that? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just not concentrating properly. That's right. Oh! No! <laughs> Dude, hey. <laughs> now I have to go all the way back to see you again. All right, so let's jump up here. Doesn't need to be there. Jump right. there. Jump up here. Jump up there. All right, so we are back. All right. Oh, right, am I safe now? Yeah, I'm safe. Okay, plant the melons again. Bone mill them. It looks so easy when you do it, man. 
That's because I remember how uh, the pattern goes. Alright. That's all there is to it, really. There we go, that looks right. Okay, uh, and then what do we need next? Place down more dirt. So I'm going to do the redstone and the lighting last. We're just doing the bit in the middle first. Alright. I'll just uh, move out of the way, I guess. Watch out. Alright, I'm going to remove that one. Okay. How tall is this thing going to be as well? Oh, one more layer after this. One more layer and I will fix... I think we'll, I will actually bump it up like four or five layers more later on. Yeah, you've got a higher yield the higher it goes. Yeah, man. And this can go all the way up to the... Oh, up to the sky if you wanted to make one that big. So basically it can be as high as the Tower of, tower of Pointlessness. It could be even taller <laughs> if you wanted that. That is cool. We'll just take a better position. All right, I can see you, man. Yeah, these dirt pillars that I've got behind uh, stuff, that's just so I can place the blocks on them. They're not necessary at all. Uh, oh. What's up? I've managed to do it again. I've put the piston and the furnace the wrong way around. I'm going to have a bit of that now. Don't worry, man. I'm getting like a... Oh, my God, I fell down. I got a, a bit of Mr. Robotron voice on you at the moment. I know Skype is bugging out. All right. Okay. Well. Uh, oh, no. Is you're. Better? Yeah. It is. I think. Yeah. It usually corrects itself fairly quickly. Let me just clear out the pointless stuff here. Just taking a snack on some melons. Right. Let's. I don't have any melons. I have bread. So let's take bread. Do these. We've got one more ring to do. I think. You know that my wife tried out Minecraft yesterday on the Does iPad. She like it. Well, she built a dirt house, <laughs> and I was all ragey. <laughs> she you should try to build the pimp houses you do, man. Yeah, she built a dirt house and was really pleased about it, and I was, no, that's not the way to go. Do you have a shovel on you? Uh, yeah. You've got one in your hand. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. It's a bit broken though, but still I works. I think it's just enough to get me down. Oh, before I go, I need to plant these, don't I? Yeah. Oh, we need a bucket with water. I got a bucket with water. I'm gonna throw it at you. Oh, it's on the edge, man. Can you grab it? I'll tell you what, I'll give it to you. You, you. When I get to the bottom, you put the uh, water block where this dirt one is, yeah? And that's uh, the last thing we need to do for this. Alright. Okay. Oh, there's a melon here already, man. There you go, you can put it down now. There we go. Is it working? Uh, yeah, it looks good. It looks good. So, now we have to do... The, red, the wiring. I will jump down for our audience to check out the wiring. Okay, yeah, just got to make sure, got to think about it, make sure I get it right as well. Um, Basically, so this we can be deleted torches. now. We need blocks. Actually, that's all I need. Okay. Uh, right, so we've got a torch here, and you can see there's a button there that's going to activate it. What, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, by the way, Suma, like, yeah. pe people were raging because last episode I brought up my too many items and people think we are cheating on the server but we aren't cheating like oh yeah you I, can't do it it's all I, legit yeah so guys see see here i can't get any items from oh oh, oh. you know what it kicked you because you I tried was, to get items <laughs> i was disconnecting from spam that's just not there we go i'm going back <laughs> what if i was back. banned <laughs> yeah so guys you can see we can't get any items this is just from my from my bin file for file which I'm using for my own builds, but we can't use it on the server, so don't worry. This is totally legit build. Cool. Okay, so yeah, the man. first torch that I'm going to put down here is slightly different, just because of the way you um, have the front here set up. But anyway, yeah. Uh, going up, what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be putting a block above the torch, and that's going to be on one side. I'm going to put a block on the other side next to the piston, and then I'm going to put a torch on this block as well, and then. A block on top of the torch and then just repeat the pattern going up. So it's basically vertical wiring. Yes. All right. So what's happening here is, uh, let me just, actually something's wrong with this, I'm sure it is. Oh no. yeah, I'm being silly. Okay, I'm supposed to be putting two torches on either side. I was just copying the other one, I couldn't see the bit behind it. I'm going okay. up and see if I can see a better overview from that. So side. the way you have this one here, this piston I don't think fires when you um, press the button. Do you want to come back down and just press this button? I'll check that. 
Oh shit. Oh yeah, yeah I'm coming. I actually unhoed one hoe. Oh, do you need a hoe? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. So Where's you the button? press the button. I'm going to go up there and see if the first piston fires. All right, let me okay, know. Do you want to press it now? I want to press it now. Okay, it does fire. That's interesting. How is that getting powered? That's because I made it pro. Yeah, you've done something there that I'm not aware of. <laughs> Don't know how you've done that, but it's wired. Anyway, um, I guess we could test it on this one already. Where's yeah. the button? The button is behind. Let me check that again. No, it didn't. Well, yeah, it doesn't power this one. But we haven't wired it yet, have we? Yeah, how have you done that? That's There's a torch ab um, on this one. That's yeah, it might be powering it from above. You yeah. could be right there. Do you wanna... Actually, I'll do it quickly and just yeah. test. Yeah, I'm forgetting how things work. <laughs> yeah, see there? It <laughs> works. not good. Okay, so right, let me explain the wiring again then. Um, yeah. So I put a block on top of this torch, so when we when we turn off the torch at the bottom, it's going to turn off the one above, and then it's going to turn this one off. All right. So then, that one's powering the block above it, which has two torches on it, and they control the pistons that are either side. So, they're also going to power these blocks that I've just placed above, and then that's going to turn off the next torch. Damn, this is going to be so epic, man. So I just need to do that going the whole way up. It's real simple. Oh. Another torch on. Don't look at that. Oh. And then we place blocks on top of those so it'll power these pistons at the top. And then that's one side done. So I'll do the same thing on the other side. And then in the corners, we're going to put in lighting, which isn't actually necessary, but it makes it look a lot better. So yeah, looks and that's important. Much nicer. I'm going to jump to the other side here. Where did you go? All right, so you're on this side. Doing the same as the other side, guys. So. Yeah. And yeah, guys, there was a pretty epic tutorial on Xuma Void's channel, so take, just take a look at it, how it's made. Because... Oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in the corner, I've gone one block over. <laughs> Silly me. Don't worry, man, don't worry. Hey. Oh, <laughs> there's, the, there's the skelly somewhere. Oh yeah, that's skelly. <laughs> I think I know what his name is, Skrellis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help myself, man. It's cool, I don't mind. It's like... Oh. oh. Something is happening. It activates the pistons when I put the torches down, because the first when I first place them, they're powered, and then it realises that the block's being powered, so it turns the torches off. All right. So that's why you see the pistons activate for a moment. Damn, you're already up here. How can you be so fast? Uh, it's not. It's quite simple, really. The wiring. Okay, so that's the other side done. Um, now we got to do the corners. Yeah, the corners uh, are basically just wood and normal torches. Yeah, they're real simple. Um, I'll, I want to do it the same as what we've got on the other side. Just uh, not sure how the pattern goes. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's real simple. Yeah. Okay, um, I might have to remove a couple of your stone stone brick blocks that's here. That's totally all right, man. I'm sure you'll be able to change them back. Whoops. Yeah, right. Um, I oh, don't think I have any. Oh no, I do have melon. torches and I have planks as well. That's great. I have torches if you need more. I have planks as well if you need. Hmm. Okay, so like that. Right, there we are. Look at that, guys. Oh, I should delete that one. Need to remove some of this. Oh. Okay. Oops, sorry man, I'm just gonna no, place a stone brick that. here. There we go. Just uh I'm just changing that. Okay, right, I'm gonna put a torch either side of that. Then place a block on top of either one. Just for looks of it. it. Yeah. Then what I do here is because I need a gap. Actually that's not really useful. Let me get my axe. Yeah, this is a little tip I do for building. Actually, I'll come down here and show you it. Yeah. Let's say you um you wanna place a block here and a block there, but you've not got any other blocks to place the one above on. Yeah. So just move that over here. Then what you can do is put a torch, place it on. Oh, place it on top of the <laughs> third time lucky. Place it on top of the torch <laughs> and then remove the torch. That is actually a good building tip, guys. Yeah, that's a handy little way of doing that because you can remove the torch instantly, and if you use another block, you've got to dig it away again. So, do you use a lot of scaffolding when you build? Yeah. Um, 
what's really good for scaffolding, and the guy called Zistu has been doing this, he uses leaf blocks. So they're really easy to get because you can harvest them really quickly with um, some shears. That is and true. And then you can use those shears again to remove all the scaffolding after you've built what you're building. That's actually a really good idea because when I'm building the Tower of Pointlessness, oh my god, it took ages. And I bet a lot of the time you were like placing and digging away dirt, right? Yeah, man, and you don't imagine how many times I died. <laughs> it was just sick. I was, I was raging all of the time, all over the place. Yeah, man. Let me see. All right, you just fell down here. Yeah, I'm just doing the other side now, and then this thing's going to be finished. And that hasn't taken us that long at all. No, man, it was pretty pro. The other, other recording was like one hour, and I'm sorry, guys, I deleted it. It was a pretty epic uh, episode, but... Oh, my God, yeah. Can we blame it on Biffa? Because it was actually Biffa's fault. <laughs> he gets blamed for everything. Yeah, but, you know, if I didn't record the episode with Biffa, that wouldn't have happened. It's very true. So we can blame it on Biffa. Or can we blame, maybe blame it on Joe, because everything is Joe's fault. <laughs> yeah, that as well. Yeah. There's a couple of scapegoats on this server. Yeah, I was one before, but it's changed now. Oh yeah, your uh, cave spider farm. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I was blamed for the server crash. And the map lost, and everything. Oh, then we don't need that one there. It's no. done. It's done, man. Oh no, we do need that one there. We do, didn't do it? Yeah. There you go, now it's done. There, there it is. Should we um, go down the bottom and show how it works? Just yeah, press um, the button. That's what you go down do. in the waterfall here and let's take a look. So, guys, check it out. Do we have any pumpkins or uh, melons here, by the way? Have anything grown? They're all melons and yes, some of them are grown. Alright, so let's press the button. You can press the button. Okay, there we go. Look at that! But here's the thing, we've only wired up one side at the moment, so we need oh. some repeaters and... I don't have any repeaters. That's okay, we'll do it without repeaters. Um, we can do it with repeaters. I, I don't know, what do we need for repeaters to be Well, built? the reason we have repeaters is because we can use them to add a delay. So, um, that's only because the game gets a little bit laggy when you fire pistons. So, when we press this button, we're firing all the ones on this side. So, if your tower was really tall, that would be a lot of pistons getting set off at the same time. That is true. So, you would use repeaters and you would send the power through a delay over to this side. Yeah. So, when the ones on this side are finished firing, then the ones on the other side will start, and that way you just make the game a little bit less laggy. Um, and I think this, I can't remember if this is right. There, there you go, it is right. So now it powers both at once. But I think, like, do you think if I add four or five more layers, do you think it will lag? Or should we just keep it as it is? I reckon you could add about another 15, and it won't really lag much. That is epic. Maybe, maybe a little bit of lag, but it's when you start going really high that it's... Uh, might cause some problems. Oh man, this is looking really pretty. I'm really happy with the design, so thank you very much. No problem, dude. I look forward to seeing uh, how it turns out, because around this side it looks really cool already. Yeah, it will look... it will look really epic. Epic, yes. That's the word. Hopefully it will look nice. So guys, well... I don't know, but check out Xuma's Void's tutorial. Should we just say Xuma Void or Xuma? You can call me Asuma, and Asuma. the channel is Asuma Void. Asuma. Where's the Void from, by the way? Um, like I was listening to a band called Void Through Materialism when I was signing up for YouTube, so Asuma was taken, so I just added Void on the end. That is cool. Actually, it works very well together. Yeah, they, they sound cool together, they do. Oh, I'm just putting your items back in the chest. Here you go. Where's your items, by the way? Where did you I hide? I put them in this one over here. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> I've got loads of redstone for my mob spawner. If you forget them, I can bring those back to you. That's cool, I'll be uh, I'll be heading back to mine in a moment. I've got to start work on the mob spawner. What's up with the redstone ore? How the hell did you make it a block? Oh right, okay, I have a silk touch pick. So oh. certain blocks that you mine with that, instead of getting drops, you get the actual uh, block itself. And then I can take it back to my base, because if you think about it, you go caving for hours. Yeah, if I'd have mined all of that redstone, it would have filled up my inventory. So I silk touch it, and that. it takes up less space. Mr. Fancy Pants. <laughs> oh yeah, my god, is, I will have to. I will I'll have, have to get to. you a silk touch pick. I've got one back at my base you can have. No, man. I, I will actually go down to the skelly farm and just stand there 
when the football match is on now. And it's uh, starting soon, isn't it? Yeah, it's starting in like f uh, half an hour or something. Yeah, man, actually, I'm going to have to uh, head back to my base then and then watch the football. Yeah, man, who do you think you will win? France or Spain? Um, I, I mean, I'll just say Spain because, I don't know, I yes. think they are the better team, but anything can happen in football. Yeah. Oops, Kelly. Yeah, I think I think actually Spain, and that's because they have like tons of Barcelona players, and that's my favorite team. So yeah. so hopefully Spain will win because France is a boring team at the moment. <laughs> yeah, they're not they're not that special, are they? No, they are just boring. So guys, thank you for watching, and yeah, Xuma's voids, Xuma's tutorial will be up in the description and the annotation. So check it out, guys. Xuma, is there anything more you want to say? Um, just come check out my channel. I do Hermitcraft stuff like Corellis does, and I've also got tons of tutorials on redstoney things and all kinds of cool stuff that can help you out in your survival worlds and online as well. So yeah, guys, like Xuma is a pro redstoner. <laughs> I'm <Get> away. <laughs> did I just miss you there? Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh my <I> god! <laughs> oh. And again. <laughs> I will get you this time. No. Nope. Well. <laughs> He's gonna. <laughs> hey. <laughs> No, guys, thank you for watching and check out Xuma's channel. Hey, hey, no, I've got low health. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if me killing you here, getting all this stuff. No, thank you, Xuma, for help. And, guys, hey, look, yeah? under, the, under here, baby ocelot. Where? Where's the oh. baby ocelot? Just under here, look where I'm looking. Oh, there's a baby ocelot. Oh. Why, <laughs> why do they call it ocelot? I have no idea. Oh, he's running, he's running away. <laughs> Shall we kill him? No, 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 you can't kill a baby. Can, does he eat bread? You need fish to get an ocelot. Oh, oh, there's your bread. Did you just steal my bread? <laughs> take it, take it. Oh, that's cool. He's a. He <laughs> oh, can't, he's he, gone. He's gone swimming. No, he's back again. He can't get out of here. He will be here forever. Damn, that's cool. <laughs> Thank you, Xuma. I won't yeah, kill no him. Problem. Even though I hate hate cats. No, I don't hate cats. Cats are cruel. Cool. I'm just allergic to cats, so that's why. You can't be allergic to Minecraft cats. No, that's true. So, I won't kill him. And hey, did you know that ocelots uh, keep away creepers, or at least tamed ones do? Yeah, they they actually do. So if you had a few of those around your base, you could keep out all the creepers. Oh, cool. cool. I will do that. But what's about with fishing in Minecraft as multiplayer? Because don't, I don't ask me anything about fishing. <laughs> Man, it's the one thing in Minecraft I can't get my head around. All right, because I went fishing like the other day on Hermitcraft, and I think I stood there for half an hour and got like two fishes. Yeah, um, I don't know. I hardly ever fish, and I've tried doing it. I'm not that good, so. So I don't know, man. Ask I Red Eyes. He knows all about fishing. Is Red Eyes on? No, Joe is on, but no Red Eyes. All right, I will ask Red Eyes later on. Cool. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, guys, and see you soon. Xima, bye bye. Bye. <laughs>